catch up now with our limited late model track champion, Rich Hammond. What a dramatic night it was for you. You're outside looking in, coming in, and then four laps from the finish. The tides turn, and you're the championship point leader and ultimate champion. Congratulations. Uh, thank you very much, Kyle. Uh, I wasn't really sure where I, where I knew where I was on the track, but I wasn't sure where he was on the track. So when they came over the radio and said the 28 uh, is the champion, it was kind of still surreal. Emotionally for you, do you even know what's happening when you're on the racetrack? When you see the six car sideways in front of you, and, and are you aware of where you are and where he's at? Oh, I do. I just I didn't realize he broke. I thought he uh, I thought he got into something and 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 just lost it. So I thought he was still in competition. So take me through that moment where you found out you won and how the emotion pendulum swung uh, for for you behind the wheel. Uh, I just I'm kind of like speechless. <laughs> to be honest with you, I mean it was a lot of hard work all year and and just you know. I just said a prayer this morning, and I said, let w what happens happen. Sum up this season for me. You're pretty much in the championship battle from the from the get-go. Back at the Napa Springs Sizzler, a couple of speed bumps there, but I think everybody had a few. But uh, overall, very consistent. Yeah, the car was consistent for about three quarters of the year. Um, then there was an accident a couple probably like a month and a month and a half ago and there was an accident over there going into one and I went into the dirt and I came up ended up breaking uh, the right front spring and and uh, we, we were having problems trying to get springs for the car and making springs work and you know you, you got to play around and it just we we're still having really we're still waiting for parts but right. they're still on back order <laughs> Well, you'll be ready for 2023, maybe. We ordered parts like three months ago, and we're still waiting for them. So it was kind of like out of our control. I mean, we it's not like we didn't try. We kept trying different stuff, but it just didn't seem to really click. Bonza and I talked in the tower tonight how it took you seemingly forever to get that first win, which came a year ago. I mean, you raced what, like several hundred races here before you finally got that first win, it seemed like. Uh, and now a, a year later, champion. Uh, how's that feel? Uh, just the struggles to first get that win and now a championship here. Well, I think it was about putting myself in the, in the right position. Uh, you know, I, I met uh, Mark and uh, Rob um, <clears throat> from RRC. I met them through... There's always one. Yeah, I know. So I, I met Mark and Rob from RRC through uh, RJ Sardell and, uh, you know, and then I started going to them in 2017. They, I was still doing late models then, so they were doing late models for me. And then uh, two years ago, I just told them I want a new car. And the thing has been lights out for the most part. This division, we... Talk about it every week. Nine of the top ten in points picked up wins this year. I felt like there was a different face in victory lane every week. The podium was changed up. How difficult is it, uh, especially when you start mid-pack right there in the eye of the storm, week in and week out? It's tough because all the crate motors are basically the same. They're within like five horsepower of each other. So you really got to work on the car to make it handle. And, and the competition was pretty stiff. I mean, most of the field, probably majority of the field can win. You said you got to work on the car. How much is it uh, for the driver behind the seat? Uh, that, I mean, that definitely comes into effect. So, <laughs> I mean, driver, car combination. You guys got it done this year. Who else do you have to thank to celebrate this championship? As now we uh, head into the off season. Well, I got to thank all my crew, everybody for for helping me every single week, and they've been there, you know, good or bad, and uh, all the hours that we put into the car. It's it's a lot of work. It was fun to watch, got that first win a year ago, and now you're a track champion here at the Stafford Motor Speedway in the limited late models. Look forward to seeing you next year. But first, enjoy this and enjoy the off season. Well, thank you very much. It's surreal. <laughs>